Picture a clinic at 7.45 a.m. Phones ringing. Printers chattering. Fluorescent lights humming like caffeinated bees. A line forms at the front desk. A nurse is out. And your lunch just got rescheduled to never. By the end of this video, I'm going to give you a clinic proof plan that many people use to cut migraine days within a few weeks without adding another prescription. Change the fuel, change the brain. Give me four weeks and I'll show you another way. Meet Janelle, a medical assistant covering two providers, living on granola bars and coffee. She's compassionate, competent, and cooked by 3 p.m. When a migraine hits, it's like a vice on her temples. The clinic is a pressure cooker. Limited breaks, charting after hours, constant reaching out to patients to get them to come in for their mammogram or lab work and what can be described as non-stop emotional labor. Add migraines and the ship takes on water fast. Here's the root cause lens. Many migraine brains are energy insecure. Neurons are high performance athletes. They need consistent, clean fuel. In migraines, mitochondria can underperform. Oxidative stress rises and the brain's electrical weather turns stormy. When the system is unstable, triggers don't knock. They kick the door in. Bright lights, missed meals, dehydration, having a sleep debt. Boom, add CGRP and other pain mediators and you've got a megaphone pointed at your trigeminal nerves. No wonder a skip lunch becomes a day ender. So what lever can we pull today? Feel, ketones provide a steadier, cleaner burn. Think quiet electric motor replacing a sputtering lawnmower. Nutritional ketosis can stabilize excitability, support mitochondria, and cool neural inflammation. That's the brain energy story. Better fuel, calmer circuits, fewer storms. And for those of you who have a doctor who freaks out whenever you mention keto or the carnivore diet, here's how we can make it practical for a diverse team. Maybe consider a Mediterranean style pattern made intentionally low carb. Although I personally thrive as a carnivore, my clinical practice is in the real world and many of my patients see specialists who are advocating for other dietary patterns. So I have found that this could be the bridge many clinicians and patients can say yes to. Familiar foods and flavors, but with the carbs trimmed to stop the glucose roller coaster. Let me be clear about definitions. When I say Mediterranean low carb, I don't mean bottomless bread baskets with olive oil theater. Excess grains spike blood sugar and make it nearly impossible for most people to stay under 20 to 50 grams of total carbs. I mean Mediterranean in spirit, olive oil, fish, herbs, non-starchy vegetables, although you need to be careful with nuts, deliberately low in starch and sugar. If you prefer plant leaning, low carb is still better than high carb. If you tolerate it and want maximum results, a cleaner, ketogenic, or carnivore leaning version can go even further. For this video, we're using the familiar Mediterranean language to engage conventional colleagues while delivering metabolic stability where it counts, your brain. Now to my clinical colleagues out there. What does a clinic-friendly day look like? Start with protein, eggs, fish, ruminant meats like beef or lamb, or poultry if you prefer. Add low-carb vegetables and bulk of fats, butter, olive, coconut, avocado. Keep carbs around 20 to 50 grams total. Here are some easy meal ideas. Sardines with avocado and olives. A burger patty on a large salad with olive oil vinaigrette. Smoked salmon roll-ups with cucumber. Egg bites plus a handful of almonds. The goal isn't deprivation, it's stability. Fewer glucose swings, fewer brainstorms. Build a simple clinic survival kit. Electrolytes first. Salt your food generously and keep a small salt and water bottle to sip through busy mornings. Huge for people on their feet. Consider magnesium glycinate 200 to 400 milligrams at night for muscle relaxation and sleep. For some people, magnesium is migraine, headache, kryptonite. Get potassium from food like avocado, leafy greens, and meats. 
unless your clinician says otherwise. Hydration rhythm matters. Front load fluids earlier so you're not up all night. Your future self will thank you. Small sips between patients beat chugging at noon. Stabilize caffeine. Predictable morning cup. Avoid late day surprises. For light sensitivity, tinted lenses under fluorescent help. Ginger chews tames nausea. If an aura or a prodrome starts, try a five minute dark room reset and 90 seconds of slow breathing. After clinic, a 10 minute walk is medicine for glucose, stress, and CGRP. What should I expect in four weeks, you may ask? Week one, a fuel switch. Some get a withdrawal headache. Salt and fluids usually help, and some may choose electrolytes. Week two, steadier energy and fewer prodromes. Weeks three to four, many report fewer migraine days and less intensity. Keep a tiny log. Headache timing. Sleep, meals, electrolytes. To find your pattern. If you're on insulin, sulfurias, or blood pressure meds, loop in your clinician. When carbs drop, we often adjust dosages rapidly. The aim is fewer migraines, not more dizziness from overtreated blood pressure or low glucose. I use two tracks. Track A is our default Mediterranean low carb bridge. It's tasty, flexible, and easy to pack. Tins of fish, olive packs, hard boiled eggs, cheese and olives, beef sticks without added sugar, or turkey rolls with cream cheese and cucumber. Track B is a stricter, low-carb, ketogenic, or carnivore phase for four to eight weeks, usually supervised because it's therapeutic. I reserve this for people who want a faster push into ketosis or have stubborn migraine patterns. Both tracks share one principle, stabilize fuel to stabilize the brain. Now back to Janelle. The night before, she preps egg bites muffins with spinach and feta, adds olives, and packs a salmon pouch with an olive oil packet and a cucumber. She fills a 24-ounce bottle with water plus a pinch of salt for the morning. She sets a gentle mid-shift alert. Stand. Two minutes of slow breathing. She talks to her clinician about meds like triptans and preventives in case dosages need adjusting. Week one, fewer hangry crashes. Week two, the end of shift pressure rarely crescendos. By weeks three to four, migraine days drop and the ones that do show up are less bossy. Not perfect, just no longer in charge. A quick word on triggers. Think sparks. Glucose swings, dehydration, sleep depth, bright light, certain additives. You can't bubble wrap the clinic, but you can remove dry tender. More protein, fewer refined carbs, regular salt and water, consistent sleep timing, and a short walk after clinic. These stack. And yes, for some of you, going cleaner with a more ketogenic or carnivore leaning approach shrinks the trigger list even more. Choose the lane that gets you moving and keeps you there. Safety first. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding, on insulin or sulfurias, living with advanced kidney disease or liver disease, or have a history of gallstone pancreatitis, coordinate closely with your clinician before major changes. Carbohydrates act like medication for many people. When you reduce them, your actual medications often need quick adjustments. Partner with your team. To my colleagues who favor Mediterranean language, this is your invitation to keep everything you love. Olive oil, fish, herbs, non-starchy veggies, nuts, while trimming starch and sugar to protect the brain. Your patients keep the culinary joy. Their neurons get steadier fuel. You deserve better. Your patients deserve better. So here's the promise I open with. Give me four weeks of Mediterranean low-carb, done simply and consistently. Salt your food, pack protein-forward meals, carry your clinic bottle, Guard your sleep like it writes your orders because it does. Log headaches briefly and calibrate small wins. If you're improving with low-carb Mediterranean, keep going. But if you want more, tighten carbs for a therapeutic window with keto or carnivore. Either way, you'll prove something powerful. When you change your fuel, your brain changes its tune. We can't fix staffing ratios in clinic today. You can't make that printer stop jamming or convince fluorescent lights to sing on key. But you can change what's on your fork and your bottle. You can choose fuel that calms the storm. That lever is in your hands today. And if you made it to this point in the video and it helped, put a heart in the comments. Share your day one plan. 
and hit like and subscribe so this finds the colleagues who need it. Thank you for caring so much about your health that you've come to this video. And I promise to keep bringing you more. I'll see you in the next one.